Hello everyone, I am Bets Golden. Thank you so much for joining me today. I wanna to share with you a really cool way that you can use watercolor inks, three different ways actually. And I have um, taken these stamps from this stamp set from Sassy and Crafty. They are a new, a rather new stamp um, company and they have these Sassy Girls. This is one of the sets of their Sassy Girls. I just love them. This is the newer one so cute so I wanted to create some cards with them and so I stamped them out and then I used my Copic markers and colored them in and I thought these needed some really cool vibrant backgrounds so that's what we're going to create today and I'm going to show you three ways that you can use watercolor inks and the inks that I'm working with today are Christy Taylor Creations and you have it in a sparkle and then you also have it in a um, the water so the sparkle it has like some mica in it I think and it really does sparkle and shimmer and then just the water is a very vibrant beautiful um, type color so uh, the first technique that I'm going to do is called the drag technique or I've named it the drag technique because I wanted them all to start with D's so you're going to take some shaving foam and you're just going to squirt a little bit out onto your craft mat and it does not take much not even kidding you right now it does not take much and then you are going to take just a uh, something to kind of smooth it out a little bit doesn't have to be perfectly smooth just enough to have a little bit of a work space on it and then you're going to take and put down a, a little bit of the colors. So I'm going to be using um, Zila, and I'm going, I like the sparkle on this. Uh, I did try just the water on it, the watercolor, and I really, really liked how this sparkle ended up looking. So I'm going to put down some of the yellow, and this is the Ariana, and again, this is the sparkle. So I'm gonna put this one down if I can get the lid off. <laughs> and then I'm going to put down the Liana. The Liana is a blue, and I am paying attention to my color families on this simply because um, I, I definitely want them to mix. This is a water, uh, medium soluble medium so I'm just gonna take and just kind of go through just like that just a little bit just to mix it up then I'm taking a piece of watercolor paper that I have cut down to a 4 by 5.25 because this I need something durable and I'm just going to kind of drag it and pull it through the shaving cream like so all right, and then I'm noticing that it's super green, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop down some more yellow and um, a little bit more of the blue. And then I'm just gonna drag this through again. And just pick up some of that color. Like so. All right, so that's a pretty good coverage. As that dries a little bit, I'm gonna let it kind of soak into the paper. I do want to take and just clean up my, my workspace. It is soap, shaving cream is just soap. So, you know, it, this is a great project to do when you actually wanna clean your mat because it's soap, so it comes right up. And it doesn't, you know, it's, I can pop that right in the wash. It's already clean practically because it's soap. So make sure you get a shaving cream that you like the, the fragrance on because you're going to smell it. And then you're just going to take your spatula and you're just going to start to wipe that away. And you're left with that beautiful underlaying color. So the shaving cream kind of did your work for you. And if you have a spot that you want more color on, you can just take that shaving cream and just pop it on it and uh, fill in those spots. And since I paid attention to my color family, 
it's all going to work just fine. All right, so you can take that aside and let it dry, and then we're going to move on to the next technique. Make sure you hang out at the end of the video, and I'm going to show you the finished cards that I create from this. Okay, so this technique um, I love. It is a rainbow technique. Now, I just said you have to be careful when you are working with these because you have to keep in mind the color family, and I, I really do mean that. But with that being said, this technique, we're going to put a lot of color on it, all right? So I'm going to be using this, um, just the water color on this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep in mind my color families, of course, and I'm going to uh, lay them down how they would blend in a rainbow. So I'm going to start at the top, and that one is the Zila. This was is the Ariana, and so I'm putting green down next. Then I'm putting down Liana, which is the blue. And then I'm gonna put down the Abriel, which is the purple. And again, this is um, the water, this isn't the spirit, so there's, there's no um, mica in this, okay? There's nothing in it that sparkles. And then I'm gonna put down the Annette, which is a really pretty uh, pinky red. All right, and then from here, I'm gonna take my water bottle and I'm just gonna squirt it. And it's gonna drip down my page. And then I can go back through as it's dripping and I can add in more color where I want it and then it will drip even more. So I, I wanted some more yellow. Looks like I need some more green. And then I think I would like, now when that green hits that purple, it's gonna make brown because that's what purple does. So those are things you kinda wanna keep in mind as you do this technique. All right, so I'm just going to let it just drip down the page like so. And you just kind of work with it as it as it goes. You know, you're gonna get a really fun drippy type um, rainbow effect here. So I'm just gonna kind of play with it. I'm gonna go over and just reapply all of those colors once again. We're gonna put the yellow on, and then we're gonna put this green on. And if you wanted to, you could go from the other end and start to apply it from the other end and flip it. But I think I kind of want it to definitely have the drips going on. Um, I, I want to see those. I want it to just drip from one end. And as you get a puddle on the bottom right here, you do want to wipe that away just because it will start to kind of blend with some other things. It'll start to, if you touch it, it'll obviously pick back up. The blue, eh, I will throw on some more of that pretty purple. And then again, of course, this red, which blended automatically over with the purple. And then just take and hit it again, let it drip. And then, you know, move it around on the bottom. And then boom. And everyone is going to look a little bit different, you know? So I think on this one, I, I do want more green. And I'm just gonna go through, and this time I'm not gonna hit it with water. I'm just going to let it organically drip. The paper is saturated enough, I think, that it can do a really, nice organic grip drip and instead of going in with that purple I'm gonna go in with the red and then go in with the purple once that drips down because if you notice you have to pay attention to to how the the water trail is leading because they were kind of running into each other you know right and see on the bottom right there 
You notice how it all looks brown? And that's because we're mixing warms and cools. So I wanna definitely get that up. And then, there we go. The purple is the last one to go on. So that's another way that you can use watercolor inks is just to allow it to drip. And you can create really fun type um, rainbow effects. So that's one another way. All right, and then the last way is really fun. And um, this is one that I think we all learned with distress. And that's just to throw some on, on put some water on it and uh, just watch it move. So actually I was gonna dip it, but I think I'm gonna take my paper and do it a little bit different. I'm gonna wet the paper a little bit. And then I'm going to take my ink and I'm going to use both the uh, water and the sparkle on this. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And so this one, I did something, you know, with our cooler colors here. I did something with both. So for this one, I'm gonna stick to the, um, I'm gonna do uh, actually warmer. Really, it's not warm because I'm gonna be using some um, red and blue and purple. So I'm gonna do a purple base on this one. If I wanted to do warm, I would do uh, yellow and red on this. That would be warm, but. So for this one, I'm gonna take, um, start off with, I'm just gonna put that right there. Let's see what that happens. So this is gonna be some sparkle and some red sparkle. And then um, let's put down some of this pretty blue, the water, so we won't do the sparkle in this, but actually this is the purple. Excuse me, well, I was wrong. And then we'll do some sparkle of the blue here. And then you just take and kind of move it around, let it move. And then I'm gonna take and just start to just like, let it just drip and move organically. And since I did pay attention to my color family, I was respectful of my purple, I'm not gonna get mud because I know that all these colors mix to give me purple eventually. And then if you have like a blower, you can take your, your blower and just blow it, blow it kind of off of the page and that'll give some coverage to it also. But be careful because you may blow on yourself like I just did. And then you can just create a really pretty background this way as well. So anyway, make sure you hang out at the end for the cards that I create with these backgrounds. So you can see that. But this is these are just three of the ways that you can use watercolor ink. And um, I don't have an affiliated link for um, Christy Taylor, but I will provide her link down below. And all that means is that I don't get a commission. Uh, I don't make any money if you guys buy anything from her. She's my friend and she's really fabulous. So I always like to try to throw some business, some, you know, I always try to throw a little bit of, of love to my small business type friends. And if you want the color to be more intense, just don't add water and you'll get a definitely more intense color. And then once I get to the liking of this, I can pull out my heat tool and just heat set it. All right, so I'm gonna turn off the camera, finish up these cards, and uh, come back and show you, and then also give you some pretty pictures of them. I finished the cards and I wanted to share them with you. I went ahead and used a couple different types of stencils on them with the new Stickles glitter gel and so I used the um, this is the uh, solar flare on this one and what is so cool about these is there's actually like in this one there's little stars so I thought that was really cute on this one just to give it a little bit more 
uh, something, something. Then on this one, I use the Moon Dust, and it's a beautiful, clear um, glitter gel. Love it. This is by Ranger. I have the link down below for you. And then on this one, I love this one so much. It's Dark Matter. I like them all. What can I say? It's hard to pick a favorite. But look at that. So there's different kinds of fun stuff in each of these, these glitter gels. And they really do work rather beautifully through a stencil. As you can tell, you know, uh, this stencil is a little bit with a smaller um, type um, image and it went right through not any bleeding so it was so so fun really happy with how this one ended I did add on all of them on the glasses some liquid uh, some like um, the glossy accents also by Ranger I also put it on the lollipop and then on the nail polish and all their lips have that as well so that's what that card ended up looking like um, and then again the stamps are by sassy and crafty I'll have that link provided as well for your convenience down in the description box you just have to click that little um, that little arrow down there and you'll find it and then this one is how this one ended up looking. I used the Nouveau Drops. These are actually, I think these are glow in the dark. So they're so much fun. And again, the stickles on that. Really happy with how these turned out. And then this one. So, so much fun, right? I keep saying that, I know. All right, you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that you join me next time. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please, please do so. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If I don't know the answer, I'll do my best to find out for you. And of course, please share. Until next time, I'm Bets Golden. Happy crafting!